Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Yunks. Today, I'll be showing you guys Last Extremity. This is an Amalon Scout Rifle you can purchase from the Crucible Quartermaster. This will cost you 150 Legendary Marks, and you do have to be at least rank 3 in the Crucible. Anyway, I do have a different Last Extremity, so let's quickly go over what perks I have on mine. So for my sights, I run Torch. Rescue mag, chance to refill this weapon's mag when critically wounded, okay. Moving on to single point sling and hand laid stock, increased stability, reduced range. So I go with hand laid stock for that increased stability. The reduced range really doesn't matter too much considering this is a scout rifle and we have third eye radar stays active while aiming down weapon sights and exhumed. This weapon gains improved range and handling for a short time after revival. So I go with third eye here. Now, before we get into it, I do want to mention this is a low rate of fire, high impact scout, very similar to Cole Vance's Duty, Hand of Judgment, and also the Cockatus from the Gunsmith. Anyway, let's take a look at the aesthetics. Alright, pretty sweet looking. Let's just get right into the gameplay. So, last extremity versus the Ultra Knight for the DPS test. It took me 22 shots to put him down, having to reload once. That reload clocking in a little over 2 seconds long, each headshot dealing 1,513 damage, and it took me 10.7 seconds to kill him. Alright, we're moving right along in a PvP, and last extremity will deal 73 damage to the head and 49 damage to the body. So, it'll take 3 shots to put somebody down if all your shots are headshots, or it'll take 4 to 5 shots to put somebody down depending on your enemy's armor if all your shots are body shots. Of course, you could put somebody down with two headshots and one body shot as well if they have lower armor, but if they do have high armor, they will survive that and you will have to hit them with one extra shot. What is the time to kill with last extremity? Well, let's say you land all three of your headshots. It'll take 0.8 seconds to put your enemy down, and that is pretty damn good considering you can put somebody across the map down in under a second with this thing, and even at medium range, this thing can out perform many other primaries. Of course, considering your aim is very, very good and you land your headshots. Now, let's say you land all body shots. It'll take four shots to put your enemy down now. It'll take 1.2 seconds, so that time does kind of dramatically increase. So of course, headshots are very, very important. This thing does have a very slow rate of fire and you do not want to be caught shooting more shots than necessary with this scout rifle. And once again, I am going to say this, I recommend stability. I will always recommend stability on weapons that are crucial on landing their headshots. Now, some of you may want to know, does the vendor last extremity come with any stability perks? Yes, it comes with one zen moment, but that's just about it. But it's not too bad of a perk. You also get triple tap and an option of lightweight and cask and mag. I do not recommend cask and mag. It will increase your mag size, but reduce your stability. And you definitely don't want that. So I would just go with lightweight. And even with hand laid stock on mine with the added stability, this thing does have a bit of a kick to it. And when enemies are shooting me, it is quite hard to control. And that is really why I stress stability on this scout rifle. Now, clearly this is going to be best at medium to longer range encounters, especially long range encounters for this specific one. I would always recommend having a shotgun, sidearm, or fusion rifle on you while using this scout rifle. Last extremity will not perform well whatsoever in close range encounters, and you will almost always find a situation where there is, let's say, a shotgun or rushing you in a match. It's pretty much inevitable, and there is no point really of running a sniper rifle with last extremity, as of course the scout rifle will take care of all your long range work for you. So it's really up to you though. It probably wouldn't be the most efficient use of your special weapon. Anyway, leave in the comments and let me know guys do you have a last extremity and if you do what do you think of it and what perks are on yours overall this thing was a beast in the crucible as long as you land those headshots you will pretty much be golden this scout rifle is certainly capable of putting enemies down very very quickly just keep your distance aim for the head and you should be okay I did have a good time with last extremity it definitely was not difficult for me to get my footage and I did find myself getting some nice kill streaks with this weapon anyway that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one I'm always covering weapons here in destiny anyway guys I will see you next time